Hi everyone, this is Prashad Parthi Ben. In the last few training videos, I have covered generative AI use cases in CLIMP's lifecycle. From now on, I will be starting discussing about generative AI use cases in underwriting processes. When it say underwriting, the step one in underwriting is submission. So today we will cover a few of the main use cases where generative AI can help the submission process. The first one is automatic data extraction. So most of us know when you get the submission information from the customer or the broker, you are going to have n number of documents like statement of values and their loss history etc etc. What generative AI can do is it can look at the critical information within the document, extract it and also going to enter that data automatically into the any policy administration system through the use of natural language processing. So the benefit here is this is going to eliminate the manual work and it is going to avoid some clerical errors. The second thing is natural language response. Now chat GPTs and others where generative AI can respond to the customer queries during the submission in a very interactive manner which means the interactions are not going to be more of you no know, static way it's going to be in the way where humans are going to respond right that's where the, we are seeing the benefit of generative AI using large language models so automated clearing process clearance process so for those who have not understood the clearance clearance is the process at a high level where we look at submission and see if we have that submission already placed in our system by a different broker or a different underwriter. So we look at two submissions, if it's a duplicate submission, we act accordingly. That's where we do clearance. Most of the time the insurance companies have an operations team who takes care of clearance. With the generative AI having the capability of handling too many number of data, it can look at the submission, it can match with the existing submissions and automatically do this entire clearance process. <coughs> Fraud detection. Most of us know when you get the submission information, sometimes the customers or brokers can give wrong data or some kind of fraudulent data to get the policies which are not matching with the actual data. So with generative AI, having the capability of having humongous data. It can definitely do pattern matching and if there are any fraudulent information within the submissions like their property data or anything of that sort, it can immediately give a warning to the insurance company. Image and document validation, right? Like you no, know, most of us know the one of the main use cases for generative AI or for that case AI is detect the image or any video or of any sort which we get from customer and automatically determine what kind of damage it is, what is the amount of loss that particular customer had. So all those things can be automatically you know, processed by generative AI and a report can be created. Routing, right? Similar to climbs where we route the climb to the correct adjuster. Even with respect to submission, when you have a submission which is a complex one, we can route automatically that submission to the underwriter who have expertise in that area instead of somebody looking at that manually and then assigning to the correct underwriters. Dynamic pricing, most of us know, like um, in most of the traditional process where we have rating analysts doing the rating of the submission and coming up with the premium. With the generative AI, we can have models which can take the submission data generate the pricing information and send the you know, customized proposals to the customers. So that's the second one, customized proposal. Once you have the automated pricing, for each customer, the generative AI can give customized proposals which matches their own risk exposures. Risk scoring, which is nothing but you no know, predictive modeling, where if you have a submission, which is a very simple one, we don't want an underwriter to look at it, right? Like you no. Know, so we can build predictive models within the submission process which can give scoring from 1 to 10. Maybe if it's a 2 scoring, none of the underwriter needs to look at it because it's a simple submission and it can be processed automatically and the policy document can be generated and sent to the customer or the broker. Whereas if it's a complex submission, that's where it's going to have a score of 8 or 9. 
where somebody from the underwriting team can look at it and determine the next steps. Summarizations, right? The main use case we know for generative AI is it can read n number of documents and create a quick summary and reports which will help the brokers and the underwriters teams to understand about the risk exposures in detail and advise the customers accordingly. Again, <clears throat> these are only the subsets. We have many use cases, but I just wanted to highlight few important use cases that I have worked on in the past. Once again, thank you for your continuous support. Have a great day. Bye-bye.